What's going on? How are you guys? Welcome back to Best Burger Reviews, where we rate the best burger at a particular establishment. Today, we're at Pearl Alley. No, we're actually at the Fulton by John George, which is in this restaurant. So it's some kind of restaurantception, like a restaurant inside of a restaurant. So beautiful, beautiful place. Spe no, a speakeasy is like, it's no, it's not. It's not a speakeasy because it's not hidden. A speakeasy, they have like a hidden door and you go, this is just a restaurant inside of a restaurant. It's restaurantception. So you walk through there, very nice, empty, and then the Fulton in the back, John George reputation, it's pretty busy back there. So point is, John George, very high-end chef. I'm surprised the burger was only 30 bucks. I know you say, oh, Frank, only 30 bucks. Yes, I'm broke. I still live with my fucking parents. I'm almost 30 years old. But I was able to pay for this $30 burger for these godforsaken reviews. That being said, uh, it looks like some type of soy sauce. We haven't seen this before. No, it's actually um, uh, like a beef reduction. So I'm kind of obligated to try that. Hopefully that dog doesn't want some too. This is a mess. All right. So steaming hot, fresh out of the kitchen because we waited for it. Fries, very crisp. Well, kind of crisp. Very salty. Nice, fresh. You know, I, I don't think the potatoes were brined and then blanched twice. They're okay. They're, they're pretty good fries. 7-4 on the french fries. Just try not to drop anything. Take the french fries off the burger. Okay, so... This looks pretty artisanal. We got some type of mustard mayonnaise dressing on top with the Gruyere cheese. I don't know what this is. Looks like some more caramelized cheese, some more of that mustard mayo dressing on it, but a lot of Gruyere, a lot of dressing. That's most of this burger is just Gruyere cheese and whatever dressing they put on it. And these are, I think they're crispy onions. Yeah, the brownish crispy onions. This is just like, it's a super high quality burger. The bun's very fresh. Gruyere cheese is a, a DOP cheese. It's a very artisanal. The meat's cooked rare, very well done. A uh, burger sauce, I haven't seen this type of burger sauce before. I haven't seen crispy onions like that before on a burger. So they put a lot of thought into this. Even to the point where they gave us um, like a, this is a, I'm trying to pinpoint the smell, but it's like an alcohol-based beef. This is like a beef reduction with a lot of onions and red wine, and I'm assuming they want me to dip the burger in it. I mean, this burger's, it's excellent, excellent, excellent. The only thing that's holding me back a little bit is the bread isn't that good. Cheese is phenomenal. That dressing is mustard based and the mustard's a little overpowering. The crispy onions are delicious. The burger bun's a little dry. The burger bun's a little dry, but I'm gonna give this an eight. Eight, I think that's the second highest score so far. <laughs> Compared to JG Mellon, I think JG Mellon had a slightly better bun. I think Bouchon had a slightly better bun and Salt Bay was uh, comparable, but if this bun was like really good, this would be mid eights, maybe high eights. And if that mustard dressing was more balanced, I think we would see a nine. So I'm very impressed, I think. This burger at this price point with that, that amazing beef dripping, this is one of the best things you're going to get in New York. Highest quality, incredible amount of effort going to each component by the chef, and I think you're really going to like it. The fries are, fries are excellent, excellent to boot. John George, the Fulton, honestly, I'm way more impressed by this burger than J.G. Mellon, although I did give J.G. Mellon an 8.2. It's just, for some reason, that, that bun being that dry, you know, 
the flavor of the meat, the onion, the cheese, it's all really amazing, but there's not enough of bread. And uh, it, again, when, when it's just so dry, it feels like there's even less bread. So if you guys want high quality grass-fed beef, custom best burger blend, you guys can go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We have a variety of high quality cheeses as well, including some Gruyere that we have on this burger today. frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Thank you guys for joining. I'll see you for the next review. Well, that's not good. You're really uh, making me lose it. <laughs>